Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. I've wanted a weapon with celerity since they came out. I got one last week in Trials. I used it when I was the final person alive. I felt near unstoppable. The weapon felt extremely good. Now since then, I've been somewhat obsessing about it, trying to learn about celerity, what it stacks with, what the perk overall does. So I spent all yesterday learning about it, and there's still more to learn. And a side note, I went down a rabbit hole on the accuracy cone, and I'm working on new things with that, but as far as celerity, I do have some clips that I want to go through, but there's a lot of testing to show in this video, and overall, there's a lot that I want to talk about, so I decided that Celerity would get its own video. Instead of reviewing a Trials weapon like the Summoner, taking a section to talk about Celerity, I can point players to this video, it's in-depth, because I want to talk about its application a little bit more. There's still more to learn about it, but something to take away right now. There's a Sniper coming next week or possibly the week after, and hopefully one day, a hand cannon and a pulse rifle. It works great now with the auto rifle, shotgun, and scout, but think about all the weapons that could have it. In the end, I want to explore if the perk is going to be worth it or not. I do wish that Celerity would be a perk that would come on adept weapons for going flawless. Maybe one day they can change that, just replace perks within the perk pool for the Trials weapons, but as of right now, it's its own perk. The basic answer for Celerity, when you have it, you're juiced. The perk Celerity states, gain the following effects when you're the last living member of your fire team. Now this is fairly specific to Trials. You have to have a fire team so it can work in PvE doing activities, but there you might not find it as useful. When you're the last living member, you get increased target acquisition, increased handling and reload speed, reduced flinch from incoming fire. So what kind of bonuses are those? Let's first take a look at reload. You have various reload speeds in Destiny, your base reload. You're going to have a different speed with a reload mod on your arms. Then there's enhanced versions for your reload. Then there's perks like Celerity as well. The reload boost that Celerity grants is the same exact reload speed as an enhanced reloader. And the enhanced version of a reloader is the top base tier for a reload. On the left side of the screen, I have on enhanced reloader. And on the right side, I don't have the enhanced reloader, but Celerity is active. So they're the same exact speed, but oftentimes in Destiny, you can stack certain things in certain situations with a perk. And sometimes it will work, and other times it kind of caps out. With the reload portion for Celerity, an Enhanced Reloader does stack on top of it, so it can go even faster than that. I have that one added on screen now, so you can take a look at it. With Celerity, you get in very fast reloads when you're the last living member. At base in Celerity, it's the same as an Enhanced Reloader, and any reloader can stack on top of Celerity. Moving to handling, you get increased handling. Handling is the speed in which the weapon can be readied and aimed, so it has two parts. The stow and ready speed, so taking it out, putting it away, and then the aim down sight speed. I did various tests, and I would assume that this goes for all weapons, or at least it's going to be very, very, very close, but with Celerity up, I found that it grants the same exact benefits as the Quick Draw perk. And I know this because I have a Quick Draw Scout that I tested it with to see if it would stack. It has the same exact aimed out sight speed, the same exact ready and stow speed when Celerity is there or not. So you don't get any extra speed. Handling sometimes can stack with certain perks, but it doesn't look too with Celerity. I do have the shotgun with Celerity, but I don't have Quick Draw. When Celerity is active, it looks and feels exactly like it does have Quick Draw. That's aimed out sight speed, that's pulling it out, putting it away. When you have two Celerity weapons switching back and forth, it's like double Quick Draw. So with the handling portion of this perk, you get better aim down sight speed, better ready and stow speed, the same benefits as quick draw that it would give to a weapon. So if you do have like, let's say a quick draw and celerity shotgun, quick draw would be for your basic all around engagements. And when you're the last living member, you won't really notice any changes with your stowing and pulling or the ADS, but you will notice the reload. It's gonna work like enhanced shotgun reloader. And it's also gonna have the next benefits I'm about to go over. That brings us to target acquisition. The target acquisition umbrella usually involves accuracy and assist being added, making the weapon just feel better. Now this one's tricky, but I can show you that in-game it is working, it does work. This took a long time because of this auto rifle, the summoner, and a real quick section here for the people that follow the in-game mechanics like the accuracy cone bloom, the aim assist stat being shown in-game. I've talked about this in the past, but here's a chart from Mercules again. When Fallout, Drewski, Mercules, and myself have done testing, it's with a hand cannon in mind. This is with our recent testing. But once I came across Summoner to test Celerity, I came to the conclusion that we're looking at the same as a hand cannon, but visually represented just differently. And what I mean by that, this is a hand cannon reticle. We know what it looks like. When you're looking at it from the hip, we know that we are shown two things, a crosshair and a circle. On a hand cannon, the crosshair is an X, and then we have the circle around. We know that one of these two things is representing accuracy, and one is representing aim assist. 
On a hand cannon, we know this outer circle gets slightly bigger the higher the range stat or when you add aim assist or an accuracy boosting perk. And on the flip side of that, such as opening shot, the crosshairs get tighter. So the circle is definitely tied to aim assist. When you fire, you see the crosshairs bouncing and blooming out. That is your accuracy. That brings us to this auto rifle reticle in hipfire. The crosshair is in a T pattern instead of the X that hand cannons have. I found that we're looking at the same exact thing as a hand cannon reticle, but with different representation. When I added on an enhanced targeting adjuster, the four lines kick out, and you can see that on the screen right now. This is it being added the moment that or the moment that celerity kicks in. And that circle that you see, it kind of sucks in just a little bit more. So that tells me that these crosshairs, this T going outward, is tied to aim assist. So there's this imaginary circle when you round it out. Now for the actual circle itself, that's the accuracy. The more aim assist that you give, the tighter this circle gets, meaning you're getting more accurate. You can go even further, here's dynamic sway reduction. A top tier perk that's gonna be talked about later this week, a boost to accuracy over time as you continuously fire. So this is the base auto rifle. When you're firing, you see how the outside blooms out. But with dynamic sway, you see that accuracy cone, it gets very, very tight and it's very cool to see in game. So for this auto rifle, I tested the base auto rifle, then I added an enhanced targeting adjuster, then those two things with celerity. I tested double enhanced targeting adjusters, then with celerity. I tested it all, I tested everything. And I came to the conclusion, all of it does stack. So when you put on the two mods on your helmet, the crosshairs go out just a little bit more and that circle comes in tighter. And then you have celerity. And once you add celerity, it goes even more. So right here is them overlap. The green crosshair that you're seeing is just the base auto rifle and the white is with double enhanced perks from the helmet and celerity. What you can take away is that it definitely is working and it's working big time. And I can't wait to revisit this with a hand cannon, but we would assume on a hand cannon that the circle would get bigger on the outside and the X would get tighter on the inside. So when celerity grants better target acquisition, it's giving a lot of help, like opening shot type help, but it's doing it all the time. And the more perks that you add to it, it helps you even more. So imagine this reticle, the widened crosshair is getting all that area with aim assist and the very, very tight accuracy cone. That's a big deal because it pairs with the last thing. Reduce flinch when you're the last living member of your fire team. I made a video about six months ago talking about unflinching and flinch in general. I won't go into full detail. There's a link below and a card at the top of the screen, but this is gonna be added on top of that. I found that celerity does stack when you have on enhanced unflinching. So you get even more of a benefit. It gets to a point where it moves very little, if at all. And that's important too, because it's coexisting with better target acquisition because your accuracy is huge. Keeping in mind what I went over in the last section, it's gonna result in a shooting experience that when you have celerity, you feel unstoppable in a gunfight. And here's some clips with celerity active. You can feel it. Like I said at the start, you're juiced. So with this perk, no one wants to be the last living member, obviously, but if you were, the best case scenario is a 1v1. You have the upper hand in a 1v1 because of celerity. There's no question about it. All the benefits that it does give though, it can help you in a 1v2 or a 1v3 situation because you have enhanced reloading, you have quick draw, you have very high aim assist, you receive very little flinch. This perk can overcome a 1v2 and a 1v3. So many times, like I just have to get my reticle around the hitbox and wherever I'm shooting is where it goes. And even if I get to flinch just a little bit, like the accuracy and aim assist is so big, I just keep landing headshots. It's phenomenal. And that brings me to weapons. I believe that Vorpal on this upcoming sniper next week or the week after will be top tier, but Celerity, especially for trials on a sniper, is gonna be top tier as well. The same goes for a hand cannon and a pulse. On a long range map like Widow's Court, the Scholar with Celerity could come up huge. The thing about Celerity is that it's niche. You don't want to be the last living member of a fire team, but I can tell you this, out of all the perks in the game, every single one of them in that situation, you want Celerity. It gives such massive boosts to your gunplay. Those boosts can get you through a round. So when you're pairing Celerity with another perk on a trials weapon, you want a very strong first perk. So like for a sniper that's coming up, it would be Snapshot. That way you can have fast snipes, fast ADS, and when you're the final member of your fire team when sniping, you have snapshot paired with quick draw, so it's kind of it's gonna kind of feel like beloved. You get way better aim assist and a massive reduction to flinch received. The same goes for a hand cannon, if or when it comes out, quick draw is a first perk to pair it with. That way in your average engagements, you're gonna do fine, but if you're ever the last living member, like I said, you're juiced. I would check rolls, keep celerity in your mind, that's where it shines. It's a top tier perk. 
If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Celerity is obviously for a very special situation, but I can assure you that when you're in that situation, there is no better perk. It's going to be up to you if it's worth it or not. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.